lines. Good. This can you see or no? I cannot see the screen. Oh, no, I mean it's a project. Yeah, I did, but I don't know then. It's all plugged up. They're all correct. Yeah. <coughs> no. It's on the HDMI, but it should be coming up there. This searching, right? Yeah. There. Okay. Too big. Just a little bit more into this one. Camera. Yeah. Okay, so we do the opening prayer. <coughs> Page five. Mother Saint Jean beings, is it, is it those enemies who hit me, all structures who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberate your emanations, may they experience happiness, be separate from suffering and safely. I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, complete, and precious Buddhahood. O oh, Mother Saint Jean beings, especially those enemies who hit me, all structures who harm me and those who create obstacles on my path to liberate your indemnation. May they experience happiness be separate from suffering and severely I will establish them in the state of Ansapa, perfect, complete, and precious Buddhahood. O oh, Mother Saint Jean beings, especially those enemies who hate me, all structures who harm me and those who create obstacles on my path to liberate your indemnation. May they experience happiness be separate from suffering, and safely I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, complete, and precious Buddhahood. Page 6. Thus, until I achieve enlightenment, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. Until death, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. From now until this time tomorrow, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. Page 7. We take refuge in the kind rule lama and the lineage lamas. We take refuge in the deities of the mandala of the yadams. We take refuge in all the exalted Buddhas. We take refuge in the perfect dharma. We take refuge in the excellent order of sanghas. We take refuge in all the noble dhakas, dhakanis, dharma gardens, possessors, or eye of wisdom. Page 8. In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, May I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. In the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake
and this space come up here. Yeah. <laughs> come up here. <laughs> Cross, I think it's here is better. Yeah. You okay? Can you see? Because. <laughs> Maybe see here better this in close 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 to this area. Because it's, sometimes I cannot make pronunciation correctly, you know. So you can read this one. So then we have support uh, screen here. <laughs> Okay, so today the teaching is a special insight meditation. So we need to know how to meditate first, you know, the called the seven point posture first when we do the meditate. Need to seven point posture, like it's crossing, right? And you can see in the chair. That's also okay. But who see in the floor so legs crossing? This hand go to in the knees. Yeah. So sometimes put it like this way in the here also okay. But either one is which is easy for you. Go to knee and like this way and put here. The both is okay. Then shoulder must separate from the body. Cannot join like this. Okay. Sometimes we stay like this. Then this habits is you know not change usually with some salad habits so shoulder is separate from the body that's why we do stay like this and then eye contact cannot look too far cannot too close right amongst so if i do meditate like example in this the carpet is center area you know there's right amongst Maybe how to say like six, six feet, six feet, seven feet, like ten feet. Then the longer is too far away, and the too close also no good. Too close is become mind is fogginess, you know, sleepy, and too far is so many thoughts and distraction. So that's why eye contact is not too far, not too close. It's right amongst. But I came on you open wide. Otherwise, pain, you know, then comes the tear also in the from the eye, it's painful. Then you can see so many different colors. But some people think that is something special, experiencing, but it's not experiencing <laughs> because your eye is too tight. <laughs> okay, so then I not too wide open, the looks like closer, looks like close but it's seeing object clearly, you know. Do you understand? I look, or maybe he's sleeping, or kind of like, but not look, like closing eye. Can see object clearly. So that's the eye contact. Then, why we cannot look too far away? Because so many distractions, object, mind, follow the object, you know, distract, right? Sometimes we have fogginess. You know, mind is not so clear and sleepy. Then you look far away also good, but not always. When you have fogginess, right? It's not so clear. Your mind is like wanted to sleeping. Then you need to look a little bit far away during that time. Then uh, some. mind, you know, 
cannot control the, your mind. So then during that time, your eye is down the nose. Eye down the nose. But usually, regularly, not too far, not too close, okay? So this, uh, the eye, you need to know eye how to contact. Yeah, not always low far away, not always down the nose, depending on your individual's feeling, you know. Yeah, do you understand? Okay, so you know, understand my English. Please hang up, okay? I can't try again. <laughs> so then, tongue is very important. This, the breath from the mouth. Okay, usually we breathe from the nose, nose, right? So that's the afflictive emotion. You breathe from the mouth, mouth, that is the become like wisdom. <laughs> okay, in here, out here, both from mouth. If it's very hard to do that, inhale from the nose, exhale from the mouth. Okay? If you can do both is from the mouth, it's good. So why we do this? Because tongue touch up in the palate, then breathe from the mouth. This mouth is always slavery, never dry up. You can stay hours, one hour, two hours, no problem. If this touch up in the palate, then can breathe from the mouth, you know. Also breathe from the mouth is kind of forcing, you know, just live naturally. Inhale, exhale, just need to live naturally. So then, body cannot be too tight. Too tight, it's tired, you know. It's too loose, then sleeping, right? That's why right amongst, we need to change our habits, some sort of habits. Usually, usually you stay home, what do you do? Maybe you stay like this, right? Then, this is meditation habits? No, right? Because then you have some, maybe something, thoughts, come on, or maybe watch television. You will be talking with people, something, see this John here. So, that's, we need to change habits. When you sit down, naturally, meditation, posture, then comes in med meditation naturally. You know, we need to change our samsara habits change it to meditation habits. One day you have very good meditate, then this posture also, seven pound posture also not important. You can do sleeping meditation, you can eating meditation, you know, you can walking meditation, that's all become possible. The roads, otherwise we have strong, Habits, some sort of habits, worldly activity, you know, thought comes. So the change habits. And uh, then we go to this one. The, the, today is the special insight meditation. So if you do know shamatha meditation, this one a little bit hard. But shamatha special insight meditation must have to have a balance. You know, balance, right? Too much como, como a body, no, like sometimes we call vipassana, special insight, right? You know these words? What is it, the uh, vipassana? Special insight meditation is the same, right? Vipassana is Sanskrit, special insight, Meditation is English, yeah? Then, como e baden, como e baden. And uh, shamatha is the same meaning. Sometimes I use shamatha, sometimes I use como e baden meditation. So this all same meaning. So shamatha meditation, vipassana, this is Sanskrit use, right, words. Shamatha, vipassana must have to have a balance. So, first usually we talk about shamatha and mind is calm, relaxed. 
then go into the special insight meditation, the vipassana. So special insight meditation here. You can see the screen, right? Okay. This vipassana, special insight meditation, same meaning. Vipassana. Seeing, so vipassana, the meaning is here. Mm, seeing beyond Tibetan called Lam Tong. Tibetan name is Lam Tong. The meaning is looking deeply into the suchness nature. Where we looking? We looking to the object or not? Not looking to the object, right? Usually we always looking to the object. We never look to the deeply into the suchness nature. Where is the suchness nature? Our own mind, right? Our own mind is called suchness nature. So, vipassana, special vipassana insight meditation is not looking to the object only. We do shamatha meditation, you focus for the object, right? Focus for the breed. But this one, not focus for the object, not focus for the breed. Breed, yeah? So looking to such in this nature is look to the, our own mind. Not look to the object. Uh, vipassana, two aspects. So this one important. Vipassana meaning has two aspects. Two aspects. Analytical or discursive meditation, that's the first one. Second one, non-conceptual meditation or rest in the mind. This two is very important. Space more close. So see, today we're going to talk this two today and tomorrow. Maybe today we can finish only the analytical or discursive meditation. Only this section. Too close or no? It's okay. Okay. So analytical or discursive meditation. Then second one is non-conceptual meditation or rest in the mind. Two aspects, yeah? If you need to know these two aspects, otherwise we go into the meditation sections, then sometimes confused. Confused, right? Confused. Yeah? So better you write down or remember this. So today our topic is the first one, analytical or discursive meditation. Mm. Then we go to second section. It's okay, right? You understand, yeah? These two topics. Then we go to Vipassana. Analytical, discursive meditation. So today it's the, this topic, the analytical discursive meditation. Meditating on the selflessness of the person, meditating on the selflessness of the phenomena. The so first one has two uh, aspects. You got it, right? Fish. Vipassana has two sections. What two sections? Uh, analytical. Let's stay in mind. Okay, then analytical has two different aspects. What is two? Yeah. See, no, see first one is meditating on the selflessness of the person. Meaning is a look to the, our f- form, our body, and let's get. Personal means, you know, usually like I am, right? So this is a inner light. Where is the I am? Personal means, where is the person? So an alert for the person. Second one is meditating on the selflessness of phenomena. Not only the person, 
look to all the object and the subject, all the every you know subject object. Where is the the selflessness? So this is all the.